Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Rogue Tower. First off, let's do some upgrades. I don't think I did any upgrades last time, so we've probably got a lot of XP to use. Three and a half thousand XP. I'm not even sure if there's that many things left on there. So we've got the encampment one to unlock, the lookout tower, which I never really used to be honest, the particle cannon, and then that's pretty much everything unlocked, except for down here, the bleed and fire damage. I should probably upgrade all of those as I use them all the time. So they're unlocked. We've still got 2,800 xp left we'll do the lookout tower we'll do the encampment stuff we got 1300 xp is that going to be enough to do these i think it actually might be 50 xp to do that we've unlocked everything i have played this game a bit too much i think <laughs> i've never played triple defense surely as someone that's unlocked everything i should probably give this a go current record zero we've got nothing to lose so let's do it so here we go <laughs> Oh man, it's triple defense. I don't know why I wasn't expecting it to start every direction for some reason. But we'll start off by filling our map with ballistas. Because not only are we covered for every enemy direction, we're also getting extra gold. So I guess we'll expand that direction. Right, apparently something happened there. I didn't see anything. But we're on to our first upgrade. Ooh, what do we go for? I'm thinking banditry. Get it early on. Get the extra gold for every death, but a bit risky if they do make it to our tower. Still, I think extra gold is definitely useful. The other question is, do I expand every direction or just one? Or I don't really know. Let's expand over that way. What shall we upgrade now? I'm thinking maybe flame tower or mortar. I, I think flame tower. I think that will be useful when the armor starts ramping up. I've also decided to expand in every direction. Whether that's right or not, not sure. Ah, oh, Tesla or Mana Siphon. Both S tier options. I might go Tesla. So we'll grab a Tesla because I think this is like a perfect Tesla spot. So we'll put that there. And then we'll maybe expand these directions. Oh, look. Obelisk. I do like an Obelisk. But there's also Frost Keep. I think Frost Keep is probably one of the best things you can get. So I've actually got that now. We really need some Mana Siphon. So Mana isn't going up too much. Oh god, those guys are getting close as well. We need to we need to build some more defenses. We've got a thousand gold. Do I unlock a shredder? That would be our only tower minus a ballista that will do damage without using mana. I think I'm gonna unlock the shredder and we'll shove one there and we'll shove one over here somewhere. When we have enough gold. At the moment we don't. Oh, and you can see the enemy, they've got a bit of armor. That white thing is armor. We're about to lose a life. No, we're not. Whew, that was close. Alright, took all those guys down. Nice. Oh, mana siphon or banditry. I think I think I need the mana siphons really. But now we've got mana siphons. We put these around crystals. So these blue things are crystals. That will give us mana. So you can see in the top right, that was plus three mana a second. Now we're on plus five. So we'll expand that direction. Oh, that's another good spot for a Tesla. I'm going to shove one up there. But uh, things are looking okay. Things are looking pretty good actually. And there's the banditry that we wanted. All right, 300 gold. I think another Tesla on there. We'll expand that direction as well, and then we'll get some more mana siphons with the rest of the money we collect this round. All right, nice. We're pretty secure on all, all lengths of arm this time. So maybe I'll increase the bleed damage as we are using the shredders. And then I probably want to add a flame tower to each arm now, because that will get rid of the armor. I know the armor is going to ramp up soon. If we go that direction first, we'll shove a flame tower there. We'll tell it to look at the most armor. And that's burning down there, getting rid of that. Nice. That is actually a really good spot for a Tesla's roll. I'm going to shove that there. Oh, that guy got close. Oh, no. Oh, we lost quite a lot of tower health there. Perhaps upgrade on that. We've got to be careful. But look, it's banditry three. More gold. We need a flamethrower on this arm badly, though. So let's expand. And then we'll try and shove one down when we have enough gold. There you go. All right, so most armor. I'm going to upgrade the armor a little bit as well. Oh, and we, we're losing. We're losing. Oh, that was so close. I thought that was it. We've got four lives left. All right, let's increase the bleed damage again. And then we need a flamethrower on this arm. How much will that cost? 450. Okay, I might expand this direction to give us some time. There you go. We got enough. So we got that there. Most armor. Armor multiplier. That should knock off all the armor. Nice. Shredder doing the business. I tell you what, we could use a shredder over here, I think. Ooh, especially with a trail of blood. Bleeding enemies take an extra one health damage from all attacks. I think we'll do that. We'll expand that way, and then we'll add a shredder somewhere on here. So that's got a very good radius. And nice, these bleeding enemies, they're taking more damage every time now. Very, very nice. 
Right, shall we focus on bleeding? We're getting quite good bleeding upgrades. Attacks against bleeding enemies have 5% crit chance. Sure, why not? Sounds good to me. We've got 800 gold. We could shove another shredder. We've just got to work out which arm is the least defended. I think with the number of towers, it's probably this arm. Oh, look, and it's branched off as well. I think we'll shove a shredder on there. That should make them bleed. And then the flamethrower will do even more damage. Come on, shoot. There it is. There it is. Nice. That arm's pretty good. This arm, completely fine. This one, stacks of logs. Got to be a bit careful. We might want to do some earlier damage. But there's a lot coming through here. I think that shredder should deal with them. Yes, nice. So there's still a stack of logs there. There's a lot of people. They're getting tesla though. It's fine. It's fine. All right, next up, I think flamethrowers against armor is good. I am a little bit worried. In two levels time, we've got the Ugi. We've got the boss. He has a lot of health. I know a radar tower, they're really good against high health. Whether they're worth a thousand gold, because that's what they cost, not entirely sure. It might be best to just like focus on frost keeps or something. So we can get quite a few of those in. Yeah, we might do that instead. So we'll take the nitric acid. We'll expand this direction. I think that's where the Ugi will come from. So I think this will be the longest path. As long as we expand one of these afterwards. So we'll expand that way. Oh, look, we got a junction. And then I think we'll shove a shredder like that. That should do some early damage. And maybe we'll do flame thrower there as well. Most armor. Give it some armor damage. All right, that's burning. Nice. How are the other arms looking? Pretty good. We're going to make our shredders do 50% more bleed as we are focused on bleed. So that's good. And then we're going to expand that direction. And I think Ugi will come from up there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get some frost keeps down. And these just slow him down. So there he's slowed down getting hit by those. Definitely want one over here. And then we may want one in the middle and do some damage over this way. So we could put that in and then put some ballistas up here on high health or something. If you target most health. And then we'll probably upgrade you. I'm just not sure if Ugi will come from that way. We'll have to see. So we've expanded. Yep, there he is. There is Ugi. So that's good. He's bleeding. He's on fire as well. If we upgrade this to do health damage, we'll then get another ballista up there. Also upgrading the health damage. Target most health. Then hopefully we should take down Ugi quite a bit with this. He's going slow. He's taking damage for sure. The other arms are fine. So it's just Ugi we're focusing on. We've got a lot of gold. So I might get another ballista like on there. All right, Ugi is coming. Do I upgrade this ballista? Or are we good? We might be good. We might be good. There you go. We've done it. We've survived the first Ugi. I don't know how, but I'm alive. Can you believe it? It's a miracle. Yeah, now things are going to go a little bit shieldy, so we need to make sure our shield is covered. Although this, make them suffer, is very, very useful. Because that increases the max bleed, burn, and poison per second by 40. And as we've got a lot of bleed, we've got a lot of burnage as well. I might do that instead. I was gonna I was gonna upgrade my Tesla to do shield damage, but I might just upgrade them manually. So yeah, we'll take the damage over time. We'll try and click on this. It's sort of hidden there, but there you go. Open that. What have we got? Oh, we could take a poison sprayer. That will help us with the shields. They're good against shields. And things are gonna get shieldy. Look at our mana though, it's completely wrecked. The first job of the day, we build a few more mana siphons. So we got 400 gold left. Let's get a poison sprayer on one of these arms. Probably over here. So you look at most shield. And then we'll expand over that way. And then we'll do another poison sprayer over this side. So you look at most shield. Because look, these, these guys with the purple, that shield, we got to be very careful. We'll upgrade the Tesla to do shield damage. Oh, they are sneaking through. You might need another poison sprayer here. So look at shield. Do some shield damage. That one should die. He's poisoned. These ones are sneaking through. They're bleeding though. They are bleeding. Let's get a Tesla in there. Do some shield damage. Oh, I think we just about killed them. What about these? There's a few coming down there. We've got frost keeps on this arm though. I'm not going to upgrade this arm for a while, I don't think. All right, mana bank is definitely going to be needed in the future. It's just how long we're going to survive. I'm not confident at all anymore. <laughs> this game's got pretty serious already. I will take the mana bank just in case though. But really, we need to start getting frost keeps down every arm. I might get rid of that Tesla. I might shove a frost keep there. I really want to shove a Tesla on there as well. But uh, we'll see how we get on. We'll see what happens. I need gold. We've got gold. All right, let's shove a Tesla on there. Then will we need a Frost Keep over here? We don't exactly have enough gold for it. 
We're out of mana as well. We're completely out of mana. All right, let's build some more siphons quick. Oh, no. They've made it through. They made it through. I just built a siphon in the wrong place. Poison spray it. Shield. No, I think we've lost. We're on three. Oh, we're dead. We're dead. All right, so we go again. I'm I'm a few rounds in. We're on level four. I've just unlocked the flamethrower and the tester. I think that's going to be the combo to do this for me. Now, we've also been pretty kind with the layout of this. we got like the River Nile going on. So we can Tesla up quite nicely here. One up there. And if we expand this direction. Oh, we can shove one in the middle there. That is a beautiful spot. And then you can see one enemy made it through there because he had armor. So I think if we get the flamethrowers going, that will help us as well. And now we can focus on upgrading them. But I'm also going to upgrade my heavy shafts as well. <laughs> we want to keep the ballistas fairly decent i think they are our last line of defense after all all right we got our flamethrower on there now looking at most armor we might need one on the other arms when we can afford it maybe one on this arm most armor those guys are burning nice oh there it is there is the mana siphon we definitely need that so we'll take that i'm going to delete that flamethrower and then i'm going to siphon a couple of these crystals all right then we'll expand that direction and then we've got a flame tower ready to go down wherever we need it I think it might be on this arm. Most armor. Flame it, flame it. Right, they're gone. That end's gone. Nice. I do like the frost keep, but I'm not sure if that was the reason I died last time. We used too much mana. I might just stick with upgrading this time. Do it a little bit differently. All right, so we got flamethrowers and testers on all arms except this one. So we'll expand this one. And when we can afford it, we'll shove a flamethrower probably there. All right, there it is. Put you on most armor. And then we're pretty well protected on all arms. Nice. We'll take a bit of banditry. Let's get some extra gold on the goat. And then more mana siphons. Oh, we've got some people making it through this side. They've got armor. So one made it through. This side, they didn't make it through. It was close. It was close. We'll upgrade the Tesla. We need, we need more armor on this side. So we need a flame tower somewhere. I think we'll expand and then we'll shove one there most armor so that should rinse the armor before it gets to the tesla tesla can finish them off nice that round went pretty well we're gonna double our burn with kill them with fire and then i'm gonna start prepping for the ugi so we're gonna expand this direction to try and make this the longest arm it's got some good curves later on in the level how's the mana looking it's okay i might get another tesla back here oh and i tell you what is nice Tesla's doing poison damage. Yes, we will take that, please. So we're going to expand up here. We're probably going to want maybe an early flamethrower. Because look, we've got the dreaded stacks of logs now. There's a stack of logs there. It's getting burnt. And you can see the Tesla should poison it as well. Should. It hasn't. There it is. It got poisoned. <laughs> All right, nice. Feeling confident about this. Oh, over here, we can do another Tesla. Another flamethrower. That's like the perfect layout for us. We do need to watch the mana though, and we need to watch these shorter arms. Okay, Tesla to shield damage. That will help us after the Ugi. And then I'm going to spend a little bit on a few more siphons. I really don't want to lose the mana. Then I will actually be screwed. We'll expand once more that way. Oh, it's split off. So that is the end of that arm. But uh, we need to make sure these two are covered. Although they're doing all right. They're doing all right. Let's upgrade the health damage on you. Get rid of those stacks of logs. We might want another Tesla back here. Depends if these guys make it through. No, they won't. They're burnt. They're poisoned. All right, next up. I'm doing banditry three. Let's get some more money involved. Although we do have two grand. We know the Ugi is coming this time. So we need along this arm some health damage. So what I was thinking, we upgrade some of these. Health damage... We get some ballistas on the plus three tower because that does quite a bit of damage, actually. We can upgrade them for really cheap as well. We've got some plus threes back here as well. So let's shove a ballista there. Another one there. Look at most health. We'll upgrade it. Same with this one. And we've still got nearly 800 gold. It might be worth making this arm a little bit safer. So I could shove a Tesla on the middle of that corner. I could also upgrade these ones. They haven't been upgraded yet, so they're quite cheap. And then we'll expand over that way. And hopefully the Ugi will come from down there. Yes, it has. So we've just got to hope we can do enough damage. We don't have the Frost Keeps this time. We've got to make sure we don't lose any lives with these as well. If they're looking okay. I'll get rid of that Tesla. We've got we got 1,700 quid in case we need it. Yeah, the Ugi is... He's got a lot of health. 
a lot of health. I think we're going to need more ballistas. Oh god, he's not even down to a quarter health. Oh man. All right, there you go. He's taking damage now. He's going through quite a wiggly area. So these ballistas are like always hitting him. Quite nice that. I think he's down. Oof. That was quite tight. Oh man, I really want a heavy shaft three. <laughs> but as we got flamethrowers in every arm, I think fire and flames is good. Enemies take an extra one armor damage from all attacks. That will really get rid of the armor. Although now is shield time. So we'll open this treasure chest. We could make our flamethrowers better against shields. That could actually help us this round. Then do we get the mana bank for later? I think as this is where we only got to last time, it's probably not worth doing that yet. Let's focus on upping stuff. We'll make the poison damage better as well. We'll do extra health damage with those. How many upgrades are there? This is awesome. Let's do the burn damage as well. Nice. So I'm going to assume this arm is fine. The Oogie one. These other ones massively need upgrading. And we need to focus on shields. So if we spend a bit of money upgrading the Tesla shield... Then we can get another Tesla up here, maybe, to do early shield damage. That's only cheap, so we'll pay for that. And then it's just this arm I'm a bit worried of. So when we've got some money, we'll try and focus on this side. Are there any shields? This Oh, there might not be any shields this early on. Oh, look, they're all up this arm. Okay. Oh, the shield damage is pretty major. There's more shields coming down here. We might be okay, though. This Tesla's going to do quite a bit of damage against him. Nice. The game was very kind to us then. It didn't put any shield enemies on this arm, our weakest one. There's nothing here that's good against shields. So I might just take Heavy Shafts 3, purely for the name. All right, I think this location is good for a Tesla. We'll do the shield damage on that too. So now this arm is a bit more fortified. If we expand, this again is another good spot for a Tesla. Let's get that shield damage down early. Ideally, I want another flamethrower there as well to do the armor early on. But we can't have everything. Remember, if we beat this, we beat our old record. Focusing on just three towers seems to be the way. I'm a little bit worried about these guys, though. But it's okay. I think we've got rid of them. That guy's poisoned and burning. Yeah, nice. We're good. We beat the record. By the way, the comments of one of the last videos said, when I say Tesla coil, uh, you guys here, and apparently the captions here as well, testicles. <laughs> So yeah, we're going to upgrade our testicles to gain 3 damage to shields. That is a very, very useful upgrade at this moment of time. And then, are we just going to expand that direction? Add a flamethrower, like that. Do some armor. Alright, we've got some shield damage. Let's upgrade the Teslas for shield down here. It's only cheap. And then make our flamethrowers better against shields. Why not? Alright, we have a lot of gold. 2,400 nearly. I feel like perhaps we could improve this arm. There's not a lot going on. If we do like another flamethrower there. You can see armor and shields. It's actually good against both of those. We'll expand that way as well. But uh, back here we have we have a lot of shield incoming. So I might get another Tesla there. I'll upgrade these for shields. I might give these ballistas some shield damage as well. Uh, the other arms, they're doing all right. They're doing okay. They are coping. We could move on to critical hits. Or we could go with a mana bank. We are going to need mana soon because there aren't many crystals about. I might take the mana bank for safety, although I'm going to max out the crystals first. So we'll do that now whilst we have excess cash. So that's as much as we can get with our current layout. Everything else will have to be through the bank. Oh, there's another crystal there. That's good. We'll shove a tester on there once we have enough gold. We don't have enough gold. They cost 875. We might just want to upgrade what we have, to be honest. Oh, these ones are sneaking through. We're going to upgrade these ballistas because they are saving us just on the health damage. That's all that should be left by the time people get this far. Ooh, flame towers gain 15% crit chance. Yeah, I'm sort of moving into the crit area, I think. Look how long this arm is as well. <laughs> oh, it's ridiculous. Let's get another Tesla there. They're so cheap to upgrade when you first bonk a Tesla down. In case you're wondering why I'm doing this. Oh, we got some health down here. Let's do health damage on that Tesla. But we're doing okay, I think. There's a few, like, strong enemies now. These skeleton things seem to be pretty strong. They're not lasting too long, though. Yeah, let's get some burn crit. Oh, man, this arm is so generous. I think this is going to be the Oogie one. Oh, did that bat? That bat made it. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. Oh, we're losing some lives now. It's because they're turning into bats. 
No, we've lost. Oh, oh, I thought we were doing so well. Those little Dracula things, they turn into bats when they die. That killed us. All right, well, I quite enjoyed my flamethrower Tesla combo. We know how good the Tesla is on its own. Shall we find out how good the flamethrower is on its own? So we're doing single defense. We're going to go until we unlock the flamethrower. There it is, flame tower straight away. And then we're going to try and find a good position for it. So I think, to be honest, there is sort of perfect. So we'll increase the burn damage. We'll then delete these ballistas. We're going to make this pretty strong. I think we'll get it to like level 100 overall. So we've got a 40 times multiplier on everything. Let's expand that way. And then we'll see how many rounds we can survive. I'm just going to upgrade the flamethrower stuff every single time. This could take a while. Right, we've got the Ugi. Let's see if a level 100 flamethrower is overpowered. I mean, we know it is against these guys. <laughs> they literally last seconds. All right, we'll slow it down to normal speed. Oh, look at the burn on him. Oh, yeah, Ugi does not stand a chance. I think this could go all the way. All right, we've got some strong enemies coming in now. Shields and stacks of logs, and they're just dead. All right, loads of enemies coming in, followed by zombie Ugi as well. The bats, they're sort of creeping a little bit, but essentially this thing is overpowered. Level 100, it's doing crazy damage. Let's see how the zombie Oogie's shield copes. All right, ready? Oh, oh, he didn't get through. I feel like maybe the later Oogies might do, though. Oh, oh, oh. I think we technically lost. With this mod, you can't actually lose. But I think we did lose there, if that makes sense. <laughs> Sorry, I was, in, I was in a world of my own there, just letting the game run through. I think we've lost. Level 33. I honestly thought a level 100 flamethrower would make it. All right, we should have the same sort of enemies, so we'll play this one again. I love how the flamethrower is like, it's not even producing flame now. It's just like, <laughs> like, no, nah, I've had enough of this. I've been flaming for like half an hour, Matt. Oh, there you go. There you go. We saw a bit of flame. All right, so these, these hench guys, I think they shoot missiles. And I think that's what made it through. Flaming Tower is in trouble because Rubber Oogie is going to get around the entire map without being hit by flames at all. Oh, look at this. There you go. They're hitting the tower. I think that would have been game over. And Robo Oogie has made it too, unless the burn damage can get him. There we are then. Technically game over. Obviously the mod won't let it be actually game over. But I think we got to level 33. And we definitely died at level 35. So there you have it guys. A level 100 flamethrower cannot beat the game on its own. Right. Peace, love and flamethrowers. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.